the idea of saying, let's build a bank from scratch just seemed a bit mad, really. But it was incredibly exciting and in some ways, really, for me, an opportunity of a lifetime. The, my real motivation for joining Starling is to, to work in a technology company where technology is the, the forefront of the business. Within my first week, I could see my code being used by myself, by my friends. It was really exciting. You see your code make a direct impact every day, going into production, being released once, twice a day, seeing that instant feedback and that instant gratification that you are really making that difference. We've proved that we can build a bank without owning a data center, which is secure, which is serving hundreds of thousands of customers, and that we can change on a, on a, on a daily basis if we want. I would say, just imagine what would be to deploy to production on your very first day. I feel like I really get something back when I go and talk to head of engineering. I think every choice we make, every system we implement, has a direct impact on the customer experience. Because engineering has such a big role at Starling, you're very involved in deciding what you build, as opposed to, to just building something that someone's given you a list of requirements for. We put engineers front and centre in the organisation. We consider that engineers should be able to design, develop and release their own software into production. There's no one at Starling who wants to stay in the same groove they've carved their entire life. We have a group of incredibly professional, dedicated, hardworking engineers who are achieving what corporate IT departments with 100 times the staff can't do. What's interesting is how we've managed to integrate our development cycle and releases and, and, and permissions into Slack because you're given visibility as to what's going on. And ultimately looking to use machine learning and AI techniques to make banking better for our customers. We use chaos engineering to make sure that we're robust in the event of any failures. If you can't withstand failure and you're a bank, then you're not going to be a bank for very long. When people use a particular area of the bank, you can say, I built that. It's been one of the best places I've ever worked, so I definitely recommend it. If you want to join a really fast-moving, technology-led company that's basically leading the banking revolution, I would say definitely come speak to us.